I've worked with Justin once before, actually my, my first real film um, it was called Better Luck Tomorrow and he, it, it was a reunion for me and, uh, but he was new, he's new to uh, the Star Trek world. He's attractive to actors in the sense that he's very caring and, um, and sort of lays out the playing field for actors very well. Um, and he's just a very good storyteller. He never sort of drops the ball uh, for your character, and he's very on top of um, what we're trying to do in every single shot, you know, so that there's an objective um, that you can hang your hat on all the time. Um, he's very meticulous, and so I, you know, I feel very taken care of, and I know the cast does. It's like the guy in the cubicle next to you got a promotion. Um, it's, <laughs> it's so you feel uh, like you have an advocate, um, you feel heard. And uh, he you know, not only knows the characters very well, but knows us, the actors, as, uh, as people very well. So I, I feel like the script has been leans towards our personalities a little bit instead of leans away from them. Um, so that's been great. And um, yeah, you, as you say, having someone to talk to who wrote the script and, being, and having a rapport with them is nothing but useful. My impression when I first read this script was that it had the um, spirit of the the best of the original TV series. It had a bit of humor, and it had a bit of strangeness, and it had a lot of, uh, and, it, and then it separated the, the crew and brought them back together. Uh, kind of, to me, all the great elements of the original series. Um, just tonally, it felt close to uh, the, the, the Roddenberry series. Um, I like the idea of, you know, m making that, uh, of really tracking that five-year mission and, and having the fatigues, the battle fatigue set in, and, and really thinking about the meaning of um, exploring for that length of time and what going that, what it means to go that far into the universe or into the galaxy and what, 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 uh, what the drawbacks might be politically and otherwise. There's a natural sense of um, imbalance or something's wrong with the universe when, when the crew gets split up. Um, so there's kind of a narrative tension, everyone's off and they're, and they're separate and any, unable to protect each other. Uh, you know, and, and on the other hand, um, it was fun for me, being in smaller scenes with Zoe, um, and I think uh, the rest of the cast had a fun time. You know, you scale down the scenes, uh, scale down the action. So um, I found it enjo enjoyable as an acting experience, and kind of narratively, it was interesting to 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 have everyone split up, and you're waiting till everyone gets back together, and then the, the, the film's the third act starts to have a lot of uh, propulsion when we are reunited. My feeling when uh, he passed was that, you know, was that our patriarch had passed. It was like the head of the family had gone and um, he was such the, the spirit of, of Star Trek. Um, he brought you know, ironically, you know, he was, he played a character who didn't experience emotion in the way that we do, but he, but somehow, to me, was the soul of, of, of Star Trek. 